Ray, today I want to try to make the world's greatest Bloody Mary. All right. I want to start with the Grey Goose. Let's check it, make sure the quality is good first. I think we should make sure the quality is good first. <laughs> right. How was wow. it? Wow. Jody, welcome to the galley of the Amazonoram. Thank you, it's a pleasure. So here we start. We come in, we have the dining room set up. It's a little small galley that serves a lot of people still. At 2,000 guests on this ship, how many staff? There's around 800, usually between 750 and 800. It depends on how busy you are, how many kids you have on board. Is there actually crews working 24-7 in the galley? Yes, like here in the pastry area, there is 24-7 action. In the room service, we've got somebody working 24 hours, and in the bakery shop, because the bread needs to be fresh for the mornings. In the pastry area, they prepare all the desserts for lunch and dinner, and they work around the clock to make sure that everything is done. During this cruise, we'll also have a dessert extravaganza, where they can show off what they really can do, and show cakes, show pieces, and everything they make right here. I absolutely love watching food preparation on this kind of scale. It's, it's just so fluid and so organized. No matter where I've been on the ship, mm -hmm. every person, whether I was getting a cocktail mm -hmm. or ordering a bottle of wine, the service aspect was very professional, very knowledgeable. Tell me about the training program that all the staff have to go through to be of that caliber. Well, prior to embarking to any of our vessels, even though they're hired by the company, they have to go pass an exam and be ready for the deployment that they will be at. Uh, training is extensive on beverages, on mixology, on bartending, and on wines. Uh, preparation as to how to serve, uh, regions, uh, where it came from, who the wine maker is, and obviously, uh, varietals and the distinctiveness of each one so they can explain it to our guests. You know, I'm always amazed. I look at equipment of that size and that efficient and us mere mortals with our little restaurants and our little <laughs> machines and I just, I get so much envy when I see equipment like this. And as we continue, we will go into the Pinnacle Galley. That's a galley for our specialty restaurants. So is it fair to say that this is generally just a higher level of cooking and yeah. design and presentation? Yeah, it's, uh, this is our top-notch restaurant. The chef prepares everything on a minute. There's no, no pre-made things. Everything is being prepared as it comes in. The steward takes the order from the guest, comes here, and like in a restaurant on land says, this is what we ordered. Can I get the appetizers? They stop preparing the appetizers. The steward comes back, brings it out to the guest, fires the main course and they prepare everything. This is as close to a restaurant experience as you'll get. Exactly. How much liquor do you buy? How much wine do you buy? How many cans of Coke do you buy? We go literally by pallet. We purchase close to about 60 to 70 pallets of wine. So each pallet has literally 71 boxes. So it's, times it's 12. Times 12. And is that per cruise? Pretty much. Focusing on wine, which is my favorite topic, of course. I really want to know how you choose the wines on a cruise ship, and do you choose them by region, by where the ship is sailing in the world? Uh, we do have a core wine, if you will. We are pretty much heavy in North American wines with uh, Northwest. We are based out of Seattle, so we have lots of uh, Washington wines, Oregon, and from then on, we go south to California, and South America, and Chile, and Argentina, and of course, Old world wines and new world with, with Australia and New Zealand. How do we select them? Well, it's we are focused on what our guests want. If our guest is particular on one specific brand and that person let us know in advance, we can buy that brand for them for the entire stay that they're here. You will actually customize one bottle of wine for one guest. Absolutely.